Okay, so we're doing Gironda six sets of six today, and right now we're using some incline chest press machine, and Max gonna demonstrate this now. So as you can see, he has the seat set up so that his wrist is uh, just below his shoulder. He's got his thumb wrapped. You can start pushing whatever, man. Just go ahead and we'll talk people through as we go. And what he's really gonna focus on here is making sure that his lower back is relaxed. See how there's a little bit of an adjustment there? Just a little bit of tweaking. He can actually get away with tweaking a little bit more here to really minimize that space between the lower back and the bench. If you're arching your back and you're producing tension on other parts of the body, reset the shoulders, roll those back, stretch out the pecs of the bottom. See how that rep really came slower than the ones before it? Really be able to return to that stretch when you're at the bottom and get uh, get full range of the motion and do not lock your joints out when you uh, press to the top. So I'm actually gonna go right now. So thumbs are wrapped. You wanna produce like a battering ram with the heel of your palm. And uh, the elbow, it needs to be below the shoulder. As the set progresses, this is gonna be hard to do because you're gonna have an inclination for the shoulders to reach up to the ears or the elbows to come up above the wrist. Make sure that you're able to push in the same, uh, same circumvented uh, degree is what this machine wants you to do. If your elbow is, is pointing up above the wrist, you're fighting that predetermined angle that this machine wants you to push in. So figure out where your body mechanics need to lie in the machine. And seat height has something to do with that. The positioning of your bones, the actual levers that are working on your muscles, has a lot more to do with that. Um, I'm resting too long. Uh, but this is good because I'm keto adapting. Uh, so I can't keep my heart rate jacked up as much as I usually do. Um, that's another conversation. I'll link you to a video where I talk about this stuff. Um, but okay, so we're seated, chest presses. And you're gonna notice um, I do talk a lot more about uh, working relaxation than exertion. So with a chest press, you need to work on, on not having that tension in the shoulders and tension in the elbows. You need to work on not trying to get the, uh, the, the chest jacked up too high or the lower back end of the incorporated. And uh, you'll see me reset at a couple points. And I will, I will actually make mention of when and how I'm resetting. So even off the bat, I've got my feet off of the floor just so that Body. Not locking my elbows, constant tension, comes down, the, the weights aren't stopping. So that was my third set. I have three more left. Uh, I'm not going to go heavier on my, on my next set. Uh, hopefully by the time that I get to my uh, fifth and sixth repetition on my fourth set, they're going to be much more difficult than what this sixth repetition was to complete. Um, I'm going to do a reading between my body and how, where my strength is going to be at the end of that set, and that's going to determine whether I go just like five or ten pounds heavier on my last two sets. Um, the last two sets are really what you're working towards with the Gironda 6x6 workout or an 8x8 workout. Um, every set is not going to kill you. Every set's going to work you, but the real um, total depletion of the muscle happens in those last two sets, two to three sets actually. Um, Alright, thanks for watching. Comment the video, like it, and subscribe if you really like. Bye.